um, and the widgets themselves uh, are ways that people can really enhance um, their existing or new web pages or applications that they're developing for data capture um, and things like that. The widgets have been developed in a way that they're really simple to integrate. So there literally is three lines of code that you can plug into your applications um, and, and they'll work straight out of the box. Um, the, the, the install that you get with the three lines coded is functional. It's fairly vanilla. Um, it works as it says it works, um, but it's been left open in a way that you can configure all the styling, um, additional functionality, and then really if there are some developers that it's um, they need additional functionality, they can extend it as well because it's open source. Um, the widgets themselves facilitate well-described and well-connected data collections. And obviously we use them throughout the ANS Registry and Research Data Australia. The next widget available is the, the ORCID Researcher widget. Um, and this is quite a basic one. And again, it's, it's literally three lines of code to get something in and working. And it enables users to look up um, either the ORCID ID itself and resolve it to a name and some details about that individual. Um, or you can actually do a search for a name itself and resolve that to an, an ORCID ID. We use this um, already within the ad record screens in the registry. So when you're um, entering an identifier for a party, we give you the option to look up the ORCID or go and create a new one. Um, and going forward in R11, we'll also provide that for the new way of relating to external objects via the related info element in RIPCS 1.5. So again, just the address researchdataustralia.ans.org.au forward slash developers. And this is basically the home page. That's uh, so at the top, we just have a couple of menus, obviously, to the widgets, the web services, uh, the registry software, and the community itself. So I'll just click on the widgets, um, and you come into sort of the widgets landing page, which has a listing of all the widgets that are available. So as you can see, the widgets themselves are really well documented. We have some use cases for how people might want to use them, uh, a little description about the widget itself, um, quick links to the sections within uh, the widget um, documentation the immediate downloads of the software itself, so the packaged up widget that people can install. Um, you'll notice that there's two widgets, uh, two download um, options there. The first one is just the, the source code as it normally is. The second one is a minified um, version, which is basically the code all um, stick, stuck together onto a single line, um, basically to, to make it faster for the applications uh, to read and, and download. As I said, they're, they're really easy to implement. They, you basically copy and paste the code here and put it into your web page and you'll, you'll have a um, functioning um, widget. We have a few demos on the page to see to show people how they can be configured themselves. And then further down here, you can see that they can be customized. Um, and then down the bottom, and this is pretty much the same across all of the widget documentations. There's a section on configuration, um, which probably doesn't mean a lot to me and to, to others, um, but it's, if you're a developer, you'll understand some of the properties and, and um, things that can be passed or implemented in the widget themselves um, to customize the look and feel um, and the functionality itself in, in the widget.